Okay, first one. Favourite boots as a kid from the OGS effect on Twitter. Um, you might have noticed recently we did a podcast with Carl Edgar um, and that United family, that United podcast, or do you, is that what it's called anyway? Um, so, Twitter is really great. I'm now interacting a lot with Man United fans and um, having lived abroad for the last, well, for five of the last seven years, it's, it's a really good place to keep up with United and um, when I get back to England, I get there as much as I can. Anyway, favourite boots as a kid. I don't remember the name of them, but they were the Reebok ones that Ryan Giggs had. I used to love them, the Reebok. Oh, if anyone knows the name of them, the Giggs used to wear. Yeah, they had like squirrely pattern on them. Or, oh, I can't remember, yellow, like black and yellow, I think they were. But yeah, they were mad, I loved them. And when I got them, I was turned into Ryan Giggs. Didn't last very long, though, obviously. Um, would I coach, okay, this was put south, but probably quite personal, but would I coach a women's team, Felicity Agnes, on Instagram? Um, yeah, I've coached a couple of women's teams in my, in, over the years, Liverpool University women's, Sunderland women's, Tramia women's as well. Now, they're all short, short term, and I've put other coaches in place for Tramia anyway. Um, Coach women, it's, it's not a passion, it's not where it's not where I see myself. I've really enjoyed it, but for now my focus is on coaching senior men's. Um, if, if there's a women's team that we're interested in and I'm already around that area, then yeah, I'd definitely consider it. Um, I love coaching and um, the competition, so yeah, I'd definitely coach women's team if, if the opportunity came about on it. What do you call it? Pet monkey, obviously. Pet monkey. Walking through the um, through the woods and the jungles in, in Malaysia and seeing the monkeys up close, it's, it's so nice. I wish they were a bit more friendly. But now they're just trying it for food and grab your legs. Um, right now, this virus, uh, it's obviously the most pressing issue. But you know, I think in general, I'd, I want everything to be a bit more like, to help everyone to be a bit more and kind, you know, to look out for the people. But I think overall, the underlying problem, and I've seen a video a long time ago called The Zeitgeist, The Addendum, and that talks about the monetary system, and it'd be impossible to do, I think, but imagine the world without the monetary system. Watch that video, it was very, very interesting. Now it, it could be a lot of conspiracy theories and a lot of fancy, but it was very interesting. If you take away money, then the world's a better place. I think seven or eight. Yeah, I haven't counted, but I definitely shared quite a few pairs when I moved to Malaysia. I just came with the essentials after my new team, you know, like me and Middlesbrough. Um, it's difficult when, when you're a football fan in England and you're from England, it's very difficult to like more than one team in that country. They say you can change your wife, you can change your job, you can change your religion, but you can't change your football team. So, I'm United, my family they both brought up with Burnley, but I've never, never followed Burnley. I've, I guess I've got a small soft spot for them, but um, now they're in the Premier League, now they're a rival with United anyway, so now I'm Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough is, I lived at Pudgy Middlesbrough for eight years, 11 in total, and I really got affinity with that club and that town, um, especially through being a member of the football club. Jeremiah Dunkel, what do you think about F1? Used to love it. Used to love it. When it was Kimi Raikkonen, uh, Mika Hakkinen, Damon Hill, Schumacher. Um, I think it was a bit more classic back then as well, a bit more, I mean, every football's got people say, it's nostalgia, isn't it? People prefer it in the olden days. Um, but yeah, recently, once you're, once you're a coach, you can't be anything else. You're 100% focused on, not just focused, but always, all the time thinking about the next training session, thinking about positions, thinking about tactics, thinking about the last match, the next match. And yeah, it's very difficult to, to follow something else. So 
I implored F1 for a long time. I'm willing to do a half marathon together any time. I'd love to, Jeremy. I'd love to. Malta would have been awesome this year, but that didn't work out. Um, but yeah, let's let's organise it. Oh, brilliant. Um, always a pleasure to do a question and answer. Um, did one a few years ago, I remember. Um, it's probably more for our questions back then. Um, hopefully, now I've got this set up and the, the microphone's working and the quality's good. My internet's not the best, so I don't know if it's going to be uploaded right away, but I'll try and do more videos. Um, certainly more about about foot towel, about coaching, tactics, things like that. So thank you very much for listening and thanks for all my subscribers. You can, if you've come to this from further away, I'll do the typical YouTube thing, subscribe below, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, I'll keep trying to upload more, more foot towel stuff alongside training sessions and um, match highlights. So thank you very much. Stay safe, wash your hands and do whatever your government's telling you to do, whether that's staying or not so much. Okay, thank you.